there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I do these videos just to educate women more on your health, hormones, and how you can match your whole food nutrition to your hormones and your cycle to get and keep a better result, a heck of a lot easier. Um, I'm the author of the book, The Female Fat Solution, which is on Amazon and the host of the podcast, The Female Health Solution, which is on all places podcast. And I have a YouTube channel, Dr. Beth Westy. Um, it's called Dr. Beth Westy that you can subscribe to to stay updated on all the latest things and even research any archived videos I have. What I wanted to chat about today is how stress can really keep you from losing weight or achieving your goals or even just getting to the right result. And the main thing I want to chat about um, with stress and stress related responses is inflammation. So that is really important and it's a really important piece. Um, inflammation and the stress response that people have. So a lot of times people think, oh yeah, I'm stressed out, but that's normal. Oh yeah, I have stress in my life, but that's okay. If you're not taking care of the stress, if you're not managing stress, if you don't have routines to help deal with stress or even flush stress out of your body, your system can actually have a really negative response and increase inflammation, which means it's gonna slow down your metabolism. It's great news, right? It's so, it's so nice to hear sometimes. <laughs> um, I have a 12 week challenge. We are starting very, very soon. So I'm gonna put a link in the comments right now where you can click this link and schedule a free call. Um, but this is one of the areas that a lot of women just kind of glaze over, pass over, or think, oh yeah, I'm doing a little bit of something um, for stress, but it's not a big deal. Leslie, hey lady, how are you? Yes, oh my gosh, yes, stress can make you really, really sick. Um, so there's a lot of negative responses to stress. I have talked about before, and if you guys want more info, I can do more on um, stress and how it gets, you know, messes up your fat cells and how it won't let your fat cells really shrink and it won't let you lose weight that way. Um, so let me know if you want info on that. But one of the things, I can do another video on that, but I wanted to focus on the infl inflammatory part of this. Meaning when your body increases in cortisol, which is a stress hormone, right? That's the, that's the thing about stress is that it's related to your endocrine system. It's related to your hormones and it can throw off your cycle. It can throw off other symptoms and issues. It can throw off, if you're having hot flashes, it can intensify your hot flashes and make them worse. So it's fun, right? And it can mess up your sleep. It can mess up so many other things in your overall health sphere. So it's really important you're managing stress and managing inflammation and getting it flushed out of your body. A couple of main areas that inflammation affects um, is it's going to affect your gut health. And I also just did a video where I talked about gut health and belly bloat and all these other things. This marker is not working good. Um, where I talked about gut health, belly bloat, all that stuff. I did that yesterday. So if you missed that one, go back and watch that one on belly bloat and metabolism because that's really, really important. But if you get inflammation, you'll get inflammation in your gut. That's going to prevent you from losing weight and maintaining any weight loss that you want. Um, so keep that in mind. And you're also going to have inflammation in your lymph, which is also just going to sit there stagnant and, and not. Yes, um, yes, that video should be on YouTube as well. Yeah, so go to my YouTube channel and you can watch that video. Your, your gut, your lymph. Now you'll notice that I'm not talking about just like burning fat or burning calories here. Yes, there's a big component of that, but there's these other systems too. It's gonna affect your overall energy. And it can affect your, I'm gonna call it rest, or how well your body is able to rest and recover. And for any athlete, they know that the name of the game when it comes to training harder, getting more fit, getting in shape, reaching that next level, it's all about not only how hard you can push yourself, but how fast you can rest and recover from what you just did. So keep that in mind, the inflammation, and this is just, these are a few of the areas. Now in the 12 week program that I have, I walk women through step by step, all the things that are specific to you, exactly the areas that you need to work on. You know, maybe you're like, well, I know I have some stress and inflammation and I have really bad gut health, but my energy is good. Does that make a big difference? Yes, then we would focus on specific things that are gonna be key for you to implement versus somebody else that would need more help with energy, right? Because you don't need to do everything. A cookie cutter plan doesn't work for everybody. So if you're sick and tired of being stuck and frustrated with all the same things that is just mass produced for everybody, then this 12 week challenge is gonna be a great next step for you because 
you're going to be able to get stuff that is implemented just for you specifically to get and keep a better result. So again, in the comments below, click the link. You can schedule a free call and learn more about what you would need specifically to get and keep a better result. And it's again, a lot easier. Um, but again, inflammation, gut health, how you're doing with that. Again, that other video on YouTube, your lymph, your lymph actually holds a lot of, um, hormone in it. So stress hormone, that cortisol can get stuck there. You have to flush that out. That's going to make a big difference in how you're feeling, how you're doing. Um, it can also affect your overall skin tone. If you're finding you break out in rashes, if you're finding you have like really weird dry spots or red spots or something where you're like, my skin just is not good here. Mm -hmm. Then you need to really work with your lymph. That's going to make a big difference. Um, energy and then again rest your body can't rest properly and recover if you have too much inflammation in your system so if you're not allowed to rest and recover properly your metabolism is not going to get moving on its own that's the biggest key for women a lot of times you're thinking oh I need to cut things out or I need to not do this or that then I'm gonna get the right result well your body is designed to do all these amazing things as long as it has the proper opportunity so we're just lining things up so your body can do it on its own on its own Sheila's commenting, you're going through menopause and the doctor gave you hormones and they didn't help. <gasps> Plus I have RA and lots of inflammation. Yes, Sheila. Oh my gosh. Okay. So RA, rheumatoid arthritis. Um, so inflammation, just inflammation up the wazoo with that. And there's little things that a lot of times other people may not notice that are causing inflammation. But for you, you'd be like, flare up, flare up, flare up. Yeah. So having that excess stress, having that excess inflammation, like I, I, my example I gave, it's going to make your hot flashes worse. It's going to make a lot of other symptoms worse of perimenopause and menopause. So getting on the right nutrition plan is going to be key to turn that around, really finding ways to get healthier systems overall, and then boosting your metabolism. But again, that, that's not the place to start. Again, a lot of women think, oh, if I lose weight, I'll feel better. That's backwards when you have inflammation, stress, and hormone issues. You have to do things to feel better first, and then the weight takes care of itself. So yes, thank you for asking that question, Sheila. That is fantastic. So again, in the comments there, there's a link. You can click, schedule a free call, learn more. But this is a really important keystone thing to look at in terms of getting the right result. All right. That's what I got for you guys today. Um, ooh, Leslie. Ooh. The hormones I was put on caused a myriad of problems. Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. And Leslie, if you guys are not following Leslie Belmore on here, and she just commented, go and follow this gal. She puts out so much great content, so much great info. Um, she talks a lot about sugar, sugar detoxing. Very, very important. So go ahead and follow Leslie right there. She has some amazing info. Um, Linda, my antibodies is, is really high for how she... Um, so Hashi's, Hashimoto's, I'm thinking you're meaning. My meds been lowered recently, but my old symptoms are out of control. Yes, yeah, and a lot of that is due to the inflammation in your system and your body that um, is, uh, yeah, for a lot of that, yeah. Linda, yes, if you have not scheduled a call, then you should. This, that's gonna be a game changer. Um, your PMS symptoms are out of control, yeah. Oh yes, see that's the thing, the inflammation, everything else, you don't feel good and then you're having PMS symptoms. And if you try and talk to a pre regular practitioner about it, they'll be like, oh, just take Midol, just take this. And you're like, that's not where the problem started though. The problem is upstream. The problem is because you're not feeling good and your body's not functioning well. Then it has all these other issues. So we start with the things to decrease inflammation to help you feel better and function better. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I don't really have PMS anymore. Oh, that's so great. Yup, because your body's working better. <laughs> I know, right? Like when you think about it, you're like, well, that totally makes sense. Why don't we just do that? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, sorry, I'm sweating now. I'm sweating again. I went to CrossFit this morning and now I'm sweating again. Oh, okay. So I get worked up because this is a really important thing that I feel like a lot of women should know about. So this is, again, this is why I do what I do. So my mission is to educate women more on their bodies, how they function, how they work. So you can apply these simple, easy things or focus on the right thing to get the right results. Um, Lynn, can you test for these things? Blood work. Yes. Yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yes. So again, if you guys have questions, just schedule a call. You're going to get a lot of information in that call. Um, it's totally free. 
And um, yeah, if you found this helpful, I would so love and appreciate you sharing this with other women that you know that could also use this message. There's so many women that don't know or they're stuck or frustrated or they've tried to see somebody about it and yet they get, you know, they leave the office thinking, okay, that's not helpful. Or they tried some certain protocol and they're like, okay, it's getting worse. That's not good. <laughs> that is where you need to really focus on the right things for you. So, which is, which is what I do. All right. So, all right. Thank you guys for tuning in. I love the questions. These are great questions. And if you want more info on some of the other stuff where I talk about stress and weight loss specifically and how it relates to your fat cells, also comment. Um, and I can do a video tomorrow on that if, if you want more info on that as well. All right. Have a great rest of your day.